Good afternoon everyone. I am Mrs. Radha here and today through this video I would like to share my thoughts on a web series that I happened to watch during the lockdown. This web series is based on a man-made disaster that happened when I was a teenager. Today's news is tomorrow's history and as a teenager I didn't care much for news to be honest except for the when, where and why I didn't want to del delve much into the details of what was really happening. However, during the lockdown, when we decided to watch a web series one afternoon, a particular name rang a bell. It was about the nuclear disaster called Chernobyl that happened way back in 1986 in Ukraine, Russia which was USSR then. This web series consists of five episodes, each of which is 45 minutes long, with a great storyline and incredible performances from all the cast and crew. Haunting music, this series gives you an insight into what really happened that day. The storyline moves from a time after the Inquiry Commission's report to the actual event that happened on the day of the disaster and then back. Basically, the story is about the nuclear explosion that happened at the Chernobyl nuclear reactor during a safety test. All the precautions, the preparation that needed to be done were taken but not very seriously. It was taken lightly I would say and taken at a short notice without making sure that the safety benchmarks were met. And a nuclear reactor set off a chain of reactions that caused horror and chaos and left people around in shock and distress. This web series has captured the horror and chaos of those times, the emotions, the frustration and the shock of the unexpected very, very poignantly. Jared Harris as Valeri, Stellar Skarsgård as Boris Sherbina and Emily Watson as Ulana Komyuk have lived their roles. Through their roles, they have risked their lives and reputation to bring out the truth about what really happened at Chernobyl that day. The haunting melody, the music will leave you with goosebumps. And there were many times during the end of each episode when I was left with so many questions, a sense of frustration, a sense of anger, and, and questions on how the story would proceed. Would the would the perpetrators be brought to book? Would there be justice? That was something that stayed on. You'll have to watch the series to find out. I would strongly recommend that you watch the series. It has been recognized as one of the most popular, most watched series of the recent times due to the wonderful performances from the entire cast. This episode also left me with a few questions that I thought I should share with you. Don't you think that the role of the first responders in the case of any calamity, be it man-made, be it natural, don't you think that their roles are critical? Don't you think that their roles are crucial to mitigate the effects of disaster? How prepared are we in such cases and how much do we really care for the human life? The second question that came to me was about the secrecy that governments and people in powerful positions have. In trying to keep things or hide under the carpet information that has to be shared when it's not done in time, it can lead to huge disasters and the Chernobyl disaster is infamous for being one of the 
worst human disasters in recent history. Finally, when ambitious people are in charge of governments and in powerful positions, do they tend to overlook their responsibility towards the good of the general public? These are some of the thoughts that came to me when I watched this. Do watch the web series and tell me what you think of it. I would be waiting to hear your views on this too. Would you like to suggest a different title? It's called Chernobyl. Would you want to replace it with something else, something different? Do let me know once you watch the series. Thank you.